Thank you guys, welcome back for the University of Blue Tunes, Brian Mendoza here back, and today I'm going to do a movie review for 2014's Into the Woods. So Into the Woods is basically about, which I won't say the plot, like the whole plot, I'll just say a little bit of it, because I don't want to spoil it. So, I'll just say that it's about a baker, played by James Corden, and his wife, Emily Blunt, have to get these four items. Or something will happen three days at midnight between those days. That's the that's the only way I'm gonna say about the plot because really I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to give any spoilers. That's that's me, you know. It's the woods. Oh my god, this is one of the best musicals I've seen in a while since we had the Phantom of the Opera, even though I saw it movie last year. I can talk about that movie all day, but. This is one of the best movies of last year. This is underrated. I don't really hear that much people talk about it. Um, came out on Christmas, I believe. Something. Yeah. Um, wow. This movie is amazing. It's not the best cinematography I've seen in a while. It looks beautiful on, on the screen. Actor, the actors and actresses, they are... Really good, I gotta say. James Corden, who's actually a TV host on CBS, pretty funny actor too. Uh, he was really good as the baker and his wife, Emily Blunt from Edge of Tomorrow. You guys know her from that movie. She could sing, I gotta say. She was really good, surprisingly. I didn't know she sings. I'm sure that was on the. Uh, that. I forget about what I was gonna say. I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyways, uh. Real Street. Who else is in this movie? You also got Anna Kendrick, which she's Cinderella in this movie. Chris Pod is the prince. Johnny Depp as the wolf. He's only like in a few minutes of the movie, but he was not bad. I would just say this movie is the Avengers of fairy tales. You got you got different stories in here. You got James and the Beanstalk story. You got the Red Dragon story and the Cinderella story with a twist. I guess I could say that. Yeah, at 1 hour and 13 minutes since this movie, you might think it's over, but no, there's going to be more. I'm just saying, this movie, um, I'm just saying, it doesn't have the Disney feel to it. Even though it's a musical, it might not be for everyone, but if you're into musicals, check this out. I definitely highly recommend this movie. I enjoyed the characters, I enjoyed the songs, the music, it's just awesome, I enjoyed it, but, like, near the last few minutes of the movie, I teared a little, I'm not even kidding, oh, God, I think I teared a bit more than Lady Was Rob, you know, Lady Was Rob is a sad movie, but I enjoy that one a lot, too, but overall, Disney's Into the Woods gets an A+, plus. one of the best musicals I've seen in quite a while, I haven't seen the Broadway musical Wicked, but I heard that they might make a movie of it, but I would be interested. But, yeah, it's the words. Highly recommend it. I haven't seen Chicago, but it's from the same director. So, if you've seen Chicago, let me know down below what you think of it. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in my next review when I find some other videos. So, yeah, have a good day.